of how far I've come in the middle of all my trolling. Okay, yes, I troll. Whatever. Troll land has entered the chat. Trolling is fucking fun, okay? Like, I am obsessed with being the troll queen. Like, literal troll in entered the chat. But in the- Wow. Greetings, my loyal minions. It is Sassy Assassin back with another episode of Illusion and Delusion, aka Amberlynn Reed. So, in today's episode, I'm going to be reacting to The Truth About Ozempic, days two through three, slash vlog. So, in the last episode, Amberlynn goes putt putt golfing and talks about her 100 days of weighing in challenge, which I find to be ridiculous because. I thought she wasn't supposed to do stuff like this, according to her specialist. But, you know, Amber Lynn is a doctor, you guys. She is Dr. Lynn Medicine Woman. She knows what's best for her. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Hi, baby Goosey. You like your cat tree right here? Yeah. We're taking the baby to the vet because it's nail clipping time, isn't it? Oh, are you mad about it? Your animals you are like so the cute. Vet, but they love you. We're currently waiting for the vet technician to come out and greet us, is what they call it. But look at it. Like, fall is here, folks. I personally love the look of leaves on the ground. It's just so pretty and peaceful. Fall is here. Girl, fall's been here for a hot minute now. Like, yesterday, we literally got snow. She's just now noticing that the leaves. Girl, this is proof. Proof that she's been hiding herself away like a, like a, a hermit, like a hostage. Like, the fact that she can't, that hasn't even noticed that the leaves have been falling for, oh my god, for, I don't, for quite a while now, for, like, one, at least a month or two. I, I mean, seriously, well, at least where I live. It's every three weeks that we just have, like, standard appointment uh, to get Twinkie's nails trimmed. Twinkie's quicks on her nails are really long. And I know a lot of you say like, oh my God, you need to like cut her nails. We do. Every three weeks, we take her to the vet. Um, we just get it done professionally because Twinkie, she has a hard time. She's one of those dogs that has like massive anxiety over it. So it's just easier to do it like professionally. But yeah, her quicks are really long. So like her nails are naturally long because you don't cut the quicks. Absolutely not. But we're just waiting to go inside right now. Um, it should be just like a couple more minutes. Okay, you guys, so I wanted to open this with you. I bet you she didn't even walk Twinkie. I bet you that was Feline doing that. Jesus Christ, girl, what the hell is going on with your arm? No wonder people say she looks like she's rotting from the outside. Jeez, girl. Isn't there something that they can that that sh they can give her for this, like the excoriation disorder? Is that what they what they what she's calling it? What she has, whatever. There's this website called Plum Paper where you can like create your own planner, and I created an 18 month planner that started November 1st. I'm super excited that it came today because it's November 4th. So I'm gonna be able to use it. It's a beautiful day to make plans. Yes, it absolutely is. This is what the package looks like. I haven't even opened it yet. I'm so excited. Embarrassingly enough, um, I am super indecisive. So planning this planner took me over a month until I finally truly decided on a cover because there was so many. 
and wow this is massive there's so many covers you could choose from and i am without a doubt so glad i chose this one and you know what's funny about the actual cover um the covers are in like sections this was in the teacher section just the cover not the planner um it was called class clown i feel like anyone could use this cover like i'm no teacher and i'm using it look at her class clown that's pretty apropos oh oh this is a thumbnail this is definitely a thumbnail oh my god okay so november 2022 all the way to april of 2024 holy shit. so i just want to show you like what it looks like so you guys can get an idea if it's something that you're interested in so there are like goals it's like monthly highlights per month birthdays events things to remember mini goals to help me achieve this month's goal um big things happening this month monthly Phrase to live by, steps I can take to have a better self-care, be healthier, challenge myself, make myself proud. Wow, this is so nice. You okay. What I don't understand is, this is a woman that literally sits at home and does nothing all day. But, you know, her, her vlogs, her Legos, her journaling um organizing stuff that needs to be that doesn't need to be organized um playing with her little mini toys uh what else what else does she do because it's, it's a short list um you know just goes out to go shopping doctor's appointments um or going out to eat but that's even even she doesn't even do that anymore like why would somebody like her need such an inexpensive i mean it probably was expensive i mean I, without a doubt um a personalized planner i could see giving someone somebody something like this who like is you know very busy you know has a you know high stress job whatever and maybe they just need a planner to help organize the their life a little bit better but amber lynn literally does nothing all day this is such a a stupid thing for her to get in my opinion i just don't get it i really don't but i mean this is her niche right she likes the journaling she likes the planning but like what is the point when you don't follow through with the stuff that you plan you you i mean oh i i don't get it i don't get it i really don't you get to choose all of this like it's so freaking awesome like you get to choose the layout if you want uh, times on it or anything like that and I don't like having times I'm very much a list person I don't care what time I do something as long as I get it done you can also um like edit like things that you want to put in here so I will say though her her eyeshadow looks kind of who looks really pretty though just just saying so there's so many options and one of them I did is a habit tracker for each month so it looks like this you just put your habits um and then you mark off if you did them or not. You know what I'm saying? And then at the end of each month, um, you say if you hit your goal, what was the reason for your outcome, uh, the past month in three words, wellness scale for happiness, calmness, health, energy, etc. Um, your favorite thing you did this month, act of kindness, place you went, thing that surprised me, what can I improve on? Like, this is just so... Like, this planner is literally perfection. And then another add-on that I decided to add was each month there is a shopping list section this is literally the most perfect planner i've ever seen shopping let's girl you you go out and just buy random nonsense i i this is so stupid in my opinion it's like everything that i love it's big it's list worthy abundance of food and random nonsense that you don't need so you're gonna put down oh i'm gonna get some more of those toys some more wax melts some more candles some more spotty sprays uh, uh, with you know considering how much the abundance of body spray that i have like girl i literally can't N I, nothing in that in that journal is gonna that she write it writes down is gonna be of any use to her 
I can damn well guarantee you that. It's beautiful. Because her priorities are whack. Okay, guys. So, day two. I weighed in at 495.4. And here I wanted to write it down in my little poster board. You lost a pound. It's like a miniature version of a poster board. I wanted a bigger one, but we couldn't find them. So, November 4th. 495.4 that means i was down 0.8 overnight which means to reach my goal in 100 days well now 99 i have to still lose 39.2 pounds so in a future video i do want to give you guys like keto updates what i'm eating what i'm doing how i'm feeling etc etc so don't worry you will be finding that type of content i'm not soon. hating the poster board though i think that's a cute way to like track your weight loss whatever all right folks it's time but then but once again i i thought something like this really fucked her up a lot like i thought the 100 days away and i thought that was not something one like her should do in my opinion and for, i mean and in, in from what she's been told by her specialist by her her doctors that you know that she shouldn't be weighing herself every day toy mini brands oh god i'm so excited i find so much joy in this all right one today what are you we gonna do with these this a little amusement park moment oh, okay i've actually never seen this in real life two Oh my god, a little Ninja Turtle! Folks, I watched Ninja Turtle when I was like actual toddler years. Uh, this is so nostalgic. Wow, look how tiny. I three. What in the world? It's a little bot. The bot squad? I've never actually heard of that before, but look how cute. Are you going to go out and buy your, uh, a regular size bot now? miniature things are just so adorable i think that's like the main reason why i'm like starting to kind of collect these not gonna lie and, so and these are like 20 dollars a pop this is shit you don't need amber oh i can't afford weight loss surgery you know m you know my money is not does it doesn't stretch as it used to proceeds to go out and buy 20 dollars i mean like more than Let's say this month she's spent like forty so far about forty bucks on this stuff. That adds up over time. I bet you. Well, then she buy a couple. So I mean, maybe the, this is not from like a recent shopping trip, but she bought a couple. So she spent like maybe forty, fifty, sixty bucks on this stuff. Can you imagine spending? But 40 to 50, 60, like about 60 bucks. Let's just say 60 bucks on miniature toys. Because what, what'd you say? It was like $20 for a pack, whatever. Or does that come in the same pack? I'm confused. Like, I'm confused. See, I don't, I don't look at this stuff. I, okay, I like, I'm, I'm, I'm an adult. I don't, I mean, the last time I went to a toy section is when, we got something to donate to, like, uh, a, a, you know, a, a children's, like, toy drive, whatever. Um, that was, like, like, last year around Christmas time. So at least once a year, I guess, I, you know, I, I, I'm, I go in the toy section, whatever, to pick something out. Um, but normally... You know, not on my radar because I'm not a kid. I I don't have any kids in my in you know in my immediate family. So it's like I wouldn't know. But I mean, this is ridiculous. This is kid stuff. And but you're in your mid you're you're in your mid like early mid thirties. Like you shouldn't be. I'm sorry, but you shouldn't be buying shit like this. This is this is oh, this is stupid. I'm sorry. So far, I have no duplicates. Four. I don't... Somebody said Graveyard Girl collects these, whatever. Look. I don't get it. Why adults feel the need to collect this kind of shit? This is kids shit. Oh, my ass spoke too soon. Okay, so they are different. This one's orange or red. And then this one's blue. 
So it's not a duplicate. Oh my god, I have two Ninja Turtles now. Number five, last but not least, is... Oh my god, is this like a little camera? Kitty Zoom Duo? Oh, this is too freaking cute. Look at that tiny camera. And you know what? It's going to go in that little glass jar and she's not going to look at it again. Is that, I mean, is there, uh, once again, is there a point to this stuff? Like, you know, like, is it like a thing, you know, like, let's say for like a, a, a dollhouse maybe? Um, I don't know. I mean, what is, do, do kids just randomly collect these or whatever? Camera folks. Imagine is if that I what logged the deal off is? of that. So here's my collection so far. And now we can add the rest. No and they just duplicates. Go, and they just go in a little glass and a little plastic container where you don't. I That's don't get lucky. it. Does anyone else get too warm and cozy at home? So they're like, whoop, I need to put on something a little more cooler. Oh, yeah. That was dumb. That was the dumbest vlog. Wait, okay, you guys, so we're starting today off just straight to the point here. So we're on day three, which is November 5th. I weighed in at 495.6, which means I have 39.4 to go to reach my goal by February 11th, which I need wait, to... Wait, wait, you, you gained weight. Put on this poster board. And as you can see, it is a different poster board. It's because I wrote day three on the other one, and then I wrote November 7th. I don't know why, and I was having massive... I don't know, I was going through a perfectionist situation type deal and I didn't want to like cross it off. This is sloppy, but there is nothing like crossed off. I just don't want anything crossed off. So I restarted it and instead of using a marker, I'm just using a pen. Like you guys care. Okay, you guys, so I want to talk a little bit about Ozempic. I feel like in my live stream, Finally. I was kind of blindsided. I wanted to talk about it when I was ready. A lot of people were asking. and Because you are allegedly high on Delta 8, right? Chat, which i understand because i stopped talking about it and this is why live streams are kind of hard because it's like sometimes some topics i don't want to talk about some i'm not ready to talk about and it's it's different to ignore up to 10 times being asked the same question but when it's more than that a lot more than that repeatedly for like an hour on end it's kind of hard to ignore i'm gonna say this jesus christ amber you look bigger she looks i mean she's her face, I mean, it used to be small, so sm much smaller, and it's just like, jeez, what the hell are you eating? Unfortunately, I mean, literally, she looks bloated. She looks, I mean, puffed up. Like, I, I, <laughs> this is not me fat shaming. This isn't fat phobia. I'm just. The last time I saw her was, I mean, it, it, she looks way bigger than she did last time. Now, this could be a water weight issue, okay, as well. But it's just like, oh, it, it just amazes me how much weight she has gained since the last video. When I first started Ozempic, which is something my doctor recommended to me, um, when I went and saw my doctor, she actually had a few um, weight loss medicines that I could use. And I chose Ozempic out of like the three or four that she suggested because I had heard. They're all pretty much the same according to what my bariatric surgeon said. There are some differentials between them, but they're all pretty much the same because I was asking about it and he said, you know, one, your insurance doesn't probably won't cover it. And two, you know, I was asking for one that wouldn't upset my gastroparesis very much. And he's like, well, they're all pretty much the same. So it really doesn't matter which one you pick. But Ozempic seems to be like the, you know, the, the you know, the, the most uh, hyped up one, like the most popular so many good things about Ozempic. She, you know, obviously she knows my health and my health history, all my numbers, et cetera, et cetera. And I told her, you know, I was diagnosed with gallstones almost. A Which you haven't even gotten treated. I don't understand. You've had your, you've had your, all your female parts removed and you got through the surgery fine. 
I don't understand why you can't have your gallbladder removed. That would be so much better. If you, it, you'd be so much better off if you just got your gallbladder removed. A decade ago from rapid weight loss, I lost 89 pounds. I know those famous 89 LBs. I haven't talked about those in forever. Um, I lost in six months. Rapid weight loss is considered one to two pounds a week over several weeks. If it's happening for months, rapid weight loss. Um, and I had lost 89 pounds in six months. So I got gallstones from my rapid weight loss. You know, my gallbladder was. What? Just under attack constantly. The pain was out of this world. It never got bad enough for me to get surgery. And I always found it so strange that it had to reach a certain stage before you got surgery because the pain was already just tearing me apart. Like I would rock back and forth. <sighs> Usually, when you have them in there, they remove it. They either remove the stones or that you have the 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 organ removed. I, what she's saying doesn't make sense to me because I remember when I had mine, it was now mine immediately was immediately immediately was like you know I had to have the surgery. But normally. When people get gallstones, they just, they just opt for having the gallbladder removed. I couldn't stop crying. Like, that type of pain is like, it takes away, like, functions of your brain when you're in that much pain. If you guys have had gallstone attacks and you know exactly what I'm talking about, I've never given birth. And I sadly don't get to experience that, even though it's something I truly want to experience. But people who have given birth and people who have also had gallstone attacks, they say that gallstone attacks hurt worse than birth. And I'm just like, well, okay, I've had... I've had okay. Look, in my life, in my life, I'm probably never gonna be able to have give birth. But from what I understand, kidney stones are a lot worse. Okay, when they when they, it. it I mean, but gallstones is a really bad pain. But if she thinks gallstone attacks are bad, then <laughs> she's never really had a kidney stone before. Because kidney stones is one of the it's the like one of the major most painful things you can have it's worse than childbirth and i've had plenty of them so if i can get through a kidney stone i can get through i can pro get through childbirth fine given if there's no complications so damn anyways i told my doctor you know because she knew about my gallstones and stuff but she was like just asking me questions she was like do you show any more signs of it like was the last time you had an attack and it made me realize, wow, I actually haven't had a gallstone attack. I've had maybe like one or two in the last three plus years, which is crazy. So she was like, well, that means they could have gotten better and et cetera, et cetera. And she was explaining how a lot of people have gallstones and they don't even know and they don't even have symptoms and stuff. She was like, let's put you on Ozempic. And if you ever feel like you have any, you know, gallbladder problems, you need to tell me and you're going to have to get off of it. And I said, okay. And she was like, have you ever had pancreas problems? And I said, unfortunately, yes. Um, it was like two years after I found out I had gallstones, I got pancreatitis. She was like, okay. That's not good either. But I, you know, explained to her, like, I haven't felt any pain. It's been years. And, you know, I was just really motivated to, you know, try another weight loss technique, weight loss tool. And I was just really motivated and determined. It was something I really wanted to try. She trusted that I would tell her if I had any issues. And I did tell her. And it was around the same time that they noticed from my CT scans that I have sludge in my gallbladder. So my doctor told me, okay, you need to stop taking those. I'm big. And I, I had a moment where I was like, um, can we just give it one more chance? Can we wait until I'm in pain one more time? Because I did not want to stop Ozempic. I wanted to keep increasing my dose and I wanted to see how it would do for me. And I just wanted to get to like the highest dose there was. I truly didn't want to let people down that, you know. This isn't about us, Amber. This is about you. I mean, I know that you're a YouTuber and you feel like in some way you're accountable to us. But really, when it all boils down to it, you're really not. Maybe if you weren't so self-conscious. And I understand it's hard. I mean, it's hard, you know, not to be... Some people are just like that, you know. I know what it's like to be self-conscious. I mean... There's a lot of, a lot of people know what it's like to be self-conscious, but she I just feel like she 
is so hyper focused on what we think that that rules her. What I was trying to say is it 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 controls her decision making with her own life, and it's like, girl, at the end of the day, what we think doesn't really matter. I don't know. I've also gotten questions of people saying, like, what do you mean rapid weight loss? You didn't lose rapidly. And my doctor explained to me, which you can actually look it up and Google it as well. Rapid weight loss is when you lose one to two pounds or more a week for weeks on end. And not only did I do that over a decade ago when I first started having gallbladder problems, but I also did that this last year. I lost, I was like 106 in like 12 months. So when you do the math, that is rapid weight loss. So I don't know why people are, you know, constantly just like trying to tell me that my doctor's wrong. I understand doctors aren't perfect. I have recently been. Is this an excuse as to why you're gaining, you gain the weight again? Why you're not going to, you know, why you're, I don't, you know, what are you trying to say? If, are you just trying to make an excuse as to why you're not even trying anymore? Why you didn't even try with keto? Because you weren't even doing it correctly? Girl, you need to see a specialist about your gallbladder. You need to possibly have that gallbladder removed. That would solve all your problems, in my opinion. Now, I'm not a medical professional, okay? I'm just a reaction, you know, reactor. Okay, but the thing is, I have a per I'm a person that has a lot of health issues. I've had my gallbladder removed, okay? I and let me just say it, it did solve quite a bit of problems when I during that time when that I was having that I could have had for years before I had it removed. No, um, multiple times over the same issue, which is quite unfortunate, but I know how I got gallstones because I was there. I did the damn thing. I did lose weight rapidly and gallstones also are triggered by yo-yo dieting and yo-yo like losing weight, like losing, gaining, losing, gaining. And you guys know that I definitely suffer from that, but yeah, it's been so long since I've had, you know, gallbladder pain and here I am, I was having it and I had to tell my doctor because I want us to have that that trust and you just as get, much as I, I don't to get it something, it's just like i know i need to just follow what the doctors are telling me to do at this point point. and i didn't want to tell you guys yet because you know i had to process process it myself and i was really really upset about it like genuinely i actually cried about it because i was just like damn i mean i waited till i got home and i cried about it it actually made me a little anxious i had like a little mini panic attack i was truly afraid to even tell you guys because so many of you weren't believing in me and you guys were placing bets on how long she was going to do it and when she was going to give up and all this stuff and it's just upsetting. Like so many people expect me to fail because I have failed so many times. And it's just unfortunate that it's like my body is currently failing me without me even doing anything. Like it's not my fault that I have lipedema. I feel like I'm having to explain myself so much, but lipedema. Amber, let me just say this. Your body is failing you. That's what the, what's going on. It's been failing you for years. I understand you have health conditions, okay, that make things hard. But the thing is, Amber, yeah, you maybe lost that, all that weight. Okay, you, you did the damn thing or whatever. But that's like, not as much as the yo-yo the, the, the yo, the yo -yo dieting. And the, th the problem is, Amber... You do the very minimal amount of effort with whatever you do, whether it be um, your content or your diets that you're on, your challenges, you will do the minimum amount of effort just to, you know, just to, to squeak through. You won't push yourself whatsoever. Step out of your comfort zone. You're so determined to stay in this little hug box of yours that you're not living a, your a, re, a full life. You're not living to what your potential is. How, do you even know? I mean, do you even have an idea of, of what, what you could potentially do if you were to actually put more effort into your life?
and to your health? You call this living your best life? You're existing to exist at this point. But Amber, the thing is, you're so, you know, you're so like all about your YouTube channel, you know, and the clicks and the views and, and, you know, what you think it caught the drama and controversy and clickbaiting and, and and trolling your health is what's going to get you the views. And it's like, girl, you're doing it at the expense of your own health. Look at where you started and look at where you are now. You're deteriorating. You're not getting any better. You're getting worse. Dima is not a problem because I'm fat, which is crazy because I feel like a lot of my issues... Um, have directly been because of my weight. Something else that people ask me is like, are you health at every size? Why don't you ever blame your weight for your problems? Ma'am, what? I am- Amber, I bet you your lymphedema is due to your weight. Anti-health at every size, and I will always be anti-health at every size. And I do know that my weight plays a problem in a lot of my health problems. Also, back to the gallbladder. I did also get some comments about- but back then you were just like, my weight has nothing to do with the fact that, with how things are going. But now, th well, that's good. You're finally realizing it. Instead of just like, no, no, it's because of this and it's because of that, blah, 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 blah. But Amber, the thing is, you recently started this keto that you're not even doing correctly. Never even hit ketosis. I wonder if you're ever going to address that. Um, or are you going to come up with some bullshit excuse as to why not everybody hits ketosis? Um, I lost my point. I'm sorry. I can't remember what I was going to say. About how you can get sludge in your gallbladder from high cholesterol. I know. My doctor also told me that. And my cholesterol is actually normal. Like, I've never had problems. Oh, I, I doubt it. With how much f fatty foods you eat, fatty meats... There's no way your cholesterol is normal. Come on. Cholesterol, anything like that. So that that's definitely not um, the thing. Bullshit. Like, I just feel like, oh my God, I just literally feel like I am constantly having to explain myself to people. And I, I hope that I will get better with that. Maybe better with explaining myself and answering questions that frustrate me. I just have been seeing so many people like thinking that they know my health records. And it is so weird. It is so weird. That might be one of the weirdest things about being part of this community. Like, I am clearly the full- Your health records. We're not claiming to know your health records. Amber, you give us a certain amount of information and we're left to speculate. So, and yeah, you think, well, like, speculating on one's health is, is, is talk, you know, is, it's dangerous. It's not, you know, it's, it's not okay, whatever. But Amber, that's all we are able to do. You don't have the right to tell us that we can't form an opinion or or whatever about what you put out here. What a, Amber, if you don't want us to speculate about your health, then don't put it on the fucking internet. Don't put it on your public platform. Because once you put it out here, it's fair game. I know you don't like that, but and but it, it is what it is. You're a known liar, so we're just, we don't trust you. You seem to think that, oh, I can lie and troll, manipulate, and whatever, how many times I want, but you have to trust me. You have to take my word as gospel. Bitch, no, we don't. Focal point in this community that I, I just, I don't know how to get rid of the people who just insinuate that they know my health records and that they're my doctor and it, it, I, I i want those people to like either stop or just like go because i just want love and kindness and i want you want a hug box basically that's what you want you just want a hug box and people to pat you on the shoulder back and whatever and be like oh it's okay amber you know you can do you can do and say whatever you want you just have to you know 
you just, you know, whatever. Sorry, I keep on getting lost in thought. Um, Amber, I'm sorry, but with the shit that you do on here and what you've done in the past, you have created this reputation that you in, are in no way trying to make better. You put, you put the le least amount of effort in everything that you do. And we see that. And see, now th th then this is what happens with one's life when you, when you live like that. Nothing happens. Nothing good happens. And now your health is failing. And we've been telling you for years that if you don't change your way of thinking and put more effort into what you do, th you're, you're just going to fail and continue to fail. And now it's, you know, th th this is your karma, Amber. You may not like it. You may not like, you know, what we have to say, but the thing is, we've been spot on. At least some of us have been spot on about the trajectory of your future. Me to be kind to you guys, and I just feel like it's not kind when I'm constantly feeling like I'm answering hate. And it's, it's just time that, like... When I, you I come... When you come on YouTube with suggested thumbnails and suggested clickbaiting titles and you're like, well, I just want people to be kind. I want the haters to go away. Amber, you know, you, you know what you're doing. I, I, why do you insist on coming on here? This whole victim Lynn mentality. Oh, poor me. Poor me because I'm getting all this hate. For clickbaiting and monetizing my health, you know, putting on those suggested clickbaiting titles and suggested thumbnails that show my body. I mean, girl, just stop. Don't you? You're not a victim, Amber. Okay, you're the one that is the architect of your own demise, of your own issues. Maybe if you didn't make videos with thumb t with with titles, you know, with suggestive thumbnails and s clickbaiting titles, and didn't come on here with you know with this low effort, boring ass content, you wouldn't have the issues with the, your audience that you do now. I mean, look at you. You can't even you you can't even bother to like. May, you know, make an effort with your appearance. I mean, you look like a, fu a fucking mess. Your your shirt's all covered in, in, in animal fur. Your hair looks like it hasn't been washed in a while. I mean, Lord knows when was the last time you freaking took a shower. You don't look okay. Like, you know, I could go on, right? I stand up for myself. To a certain degree, obviously, there, there's just so much drama all the time and so many lies that people say about me and things that I that, just... Um, don't... There's so much drama. You love the drama, Amber. You love it. You revel in it. You are actively seeking out drama with reaction channels. No, but not... But you have the audacity... The audacity to come on here and bemoan, oh, poor pity me. People speculate about my health. People just like to cause drama. Like, the tiny world's tiniest violin, Amber, is playing in the background right now. Come on now. Come on now, Amber. Stop with the victim, Lynn. Stop with the bullshit. We all know the real game that you're playing find absolutely ridiculous like but then there's things that are important to me and my health has become very important to me lately and it's something that I'm like passionate about I'm passionate about fixing and changing my life and it's so hard to do and like so many people just have the wrong idea of me or they're like assuming things and then people start believing then log off log off Amber quit YouTube and find another job if it, if, if we're causing you so much emotional turmoil then log the fuck off. Find another job. 
Oh, wait. That would mean you would actually, you know, have to work. You'd have to actually make an effort. You know, have a normal sleeping schedule. Probably get up early like a 9 to 5 job. Oh, no. Amberlynn Reed can't do that. No, no, no. That would mean you'd have to, you you would have to be forced out of your little hug box. Give me a break. Even the assumptions like that is literally what reaction channels create. Like they're creating a place for this to continue. And I don't know. Are you fucking? Are you kidding me? And yet you were in. Oh lordy, it's Jordy's live stream. I'm high on Delta Eight. Vo DMing him with voice notes. Are you fucking kidding me right now? And I think this is filmed before that happened. But it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if this is filmed before that that happened. She still probably has the same mentality. I I can't. I literally can't with this bullshit. It's all our faults once again. We're us reaction channels. We're we're to blame for your failures in life. Girl, the you wanna know who's to blame? Go to the bathroom, stand and stand in front of the mirror. The person looking back at you is the one that's the problem. Is the one that is to blame. They don't care. I probably shouldn't care, but I do care. I, I do care. Like I want to be happy, and right now, um, bitch, I'm. I'm sorry, and I know, I know people that don't like me calling her bitch and stuff like that. I can't help it. I, I'm, I, I'm so irate right now. Um, don't speak for us and say that we don't care, Amber. If we didn't give a crap, we wouldn't. A lot of us reactors wouldn't be on here voicing our opinions there's a lot of us that actually do care but we're just so fed up we're so annoyed by your complaints your complaint um what is it complacency with yourself this is on you you may not like it you may not like hearing it, Amber, but this is all on you. This is your life. It is your responsibility to take action in your life, to take responsibility for your own life. It's not our fault. You can blame reaction channels and the audience all you want because it's so much easier to blame other people for your own misgivings. But Amber, when you keep on doing that, that you're, you're never going to get anywhere in life. God, she's so she's so fundamentally lazy that she can't even take accountability. That's how far her laziness goes. Like how not far, but deep it goes. Jesus. I'm not happy. I'm not happy with the community that is surrounding me. I'm not, and I'm having a hard The community that you created. Time trying to um, be myself and share what I truly want to share uh, with the people who support me, like truly, truly support me. I don't know. I'm rambling. I need to stop. Um, I just... And now she goes, I'm rambling, singing. Girl, you you created this community. You did. And the thing is, this is your karma. People say, what? You, but you know what? Some people say that it, there's never going to be karma for Am people like for Amberlynn Reed. They seem and Foodie Beauty. They seem to get away with it. Don't you guys realize that the community and the shit that they get is their karma? They're already getting it now. Maybe it's not good enough for some people, but it is their karma. They're, do you think they're happy? I mean, Chantel is always raging about her audience, whatever. And now she's with this Mr. Salad, whatever, and she's still raging. Amber Lynn is oh, oh playing victim Lynn all the time. She looks miserable. She, you can tell there's no passion 
anymore with doing with YouTube. She's just doing it for a paycheck. Okay, she's not doing it for because she likes doing it. But she's going to come on here and insist that, oh, I love doing YouTube. It's my passion. But no, it's not. Not anymore. I could maybe in the beginning, yeah, in early days, but not anymore. You're just doing it for the paycheck. You don't care about the integrity of your channel, about the quality of your content. You don't even care to look good on uh, when you come on here. You look like a f like you just crawled out of bed. If I mean, what do you expect? Especially with the clickbaiting, just nauseating titles, and the the not the body shot and the suggestive thumbnails that you know is going to make people irritated. But then you have the audacity just to come on here and complain? Girl, get out of my face with this bullshit. I don't even know if I necessarily believe this stuff about Ozempic. But you know what? I wouldn't be surprised, though. Um, but I'll have to ask the bariatric. My bariat I see my bariatric nurse tomorrow. So, well... Technically today, because it's pretty much 12, 12 a.m. But like, oh, just this is just so cringy. It's this is so cringy. I don't know. I don't know how to figure it out. I don't know. I don't know. So right now we're just kind of going with the flow. And if there's things I feel like I need to answer, then I'm gonna do it. The people who watch me and support me, love me, and actually like like me. Who are person, these people? Who are these like, people? I love you, and you guys know that. Like. I never Ooh. have any ill intent towards you guys and I don't mean to rant all the time or like cl clear up rumors if that frustrates anyone that I'm truly sorry I just in my heart I feel like I have to do this right now you know there's just who are these people I say because there has been so many rumors from years ago that I just let build up build up build up and now those rumors are real to people and it's like if I can just nip it in the butt then I want to do that Who are these people? Who are these phantom supporters? Because honestly, I, I don't believe you really have any supporters. I don't. I think you're just, at this point, pretending that you have supporters. Because you, and because you know that at the, at the moment your views are, your, your, view, your views are okay. Your sub count's okay, You're, but not what it used to be, but you're still getting paid pretty good money. So you can sit here and try to fool us, but, you know, as time goes on, and as your channel continues to die, since you're not, since you're unwilling to, you know, change up your content, since you're unwilling to make more of an effort, then, um, that's when we'll start to see the truth. So, Amber... Lying is going is not going to serve you. It's not going to do you any favors. So it's best to tell the truth now and just be upfront and honest instead of, you know, being caught off guard. And then, you know, how many, so many months or years later and then having to answer to thousands upon thousands of people. So that's just me. That's why it's never good to lie. It's always good to be upfront and honest with people. Because it's going to come back and bite you in the ass. But, you know, go ahead, Amber. This is your life. This is your channel. You know, I just, I'm just a spectator. I'm just a reactor. So there you go. Like, share, subscribe, comment below, hit the notification bell. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns about this video or any of the videos I've made so far on this platform, please feel free to leave a comment below or hit me up on any of my social media accounts. If you guys want to help me and my channel, I do have a Cash App, PayPal, and a Venmo. Um, those are the only ways you can financially support me on here right now because I'm not yet monetized. I have about like 200 subscribers to go until I am at hit 1,000. And then that should bring me, like, monetization mode or whatever. So, um, once I, I feel like once I hit that moment, I'm probably going to do, like, a little celebration stream or something like that. So, um, there you go. Until next time, toodaloo, my loves. I will see you guys later.